Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm Marty, yes, but unfortunately not that annoying zebra from all the <laughs> Madagascar movies. For a moment, I'd like for you to picture what you think a scientist would look like. I'm guessing you pictured a man wearing a lab coat, crazy goggles and long stringy hair. Maybe something similar to the picture currently on the screen. Well, did you know Mary Jackson was a scientist as well, and at that a very influential one. She first delved into the world of science when she joined NASA in 1951. However, for Jackson, it was not always smooth sailing for her. Okay, so righto, picture this. Imagine if you weren't allowed to play with one of your friends just because of the colour of your skin. Well, Jackson experienced something very similar to this when she joined NASA. As she, when she joined the Space Agency, they placed her in the separated West Mathematical Computing Building away from the rest of her colleagues that were not from the same cultural background. This was in a time before we had all our laptops and iPads and even calculators, so NASA employed very smart mathematicians to do vital calculations for them, and Jackson was one of these people. After two years in this section of NASA, she began working for an engineer who worked on wind tunnels, and by 1958, she proved everyone wrong and became the first ever black female engineer at NASA. An engineer is a person who designs, builds, or maintains engines, machines, or structures. A key scientific concept Jackson worked on was airflow, where she conducted many experiments in a high-pressure wind tunnel with a fellow engineer at NASA. This supersonic wind tunnel was only four, by, 4 feet by 4 feet long, however it could produce up to 60,000 horsepower, which mimics speeds up to twice the speed of sound. These speeds are known as hypervelocity, which are a lot faster than not even just your parents' car, but the planes you've flown in as well. Something creatures at hypervelocity after it hits the 11,000 km per hour mark. Jackson worked with these wind tunnels to gain an understanding of the effect of high speeds and drag on aircraft. Her dedication to this concept has led to optimal aircraft performance. To conclude this video, I hope that you have taken away that Mary Jackson was the first black female engineer at NASA, becoming an inspiration for many other females to work in the science industry and in, in particular NASA. I also hope that you've taken away that she was an aeronautical engineer who made many discoveries about airflow from her experiments in the supersonic wind tunnels that mimic speeds two times faster than the speed of light. So kids, always remember that you can be whoever you want to be if you put your mind to it and don't let other people get in the way of your dreams.